Welcome everybody to a new game of City Skylines. We're going to do a scenario today of Fix the Traffic from the Mass Transit release last October. What does this entail? It's traffic flow over 82%, population over 35,000. And what do we lose for if we get under 25,000 population or if we play too long, 200 game weeks? So what does this do? Optimizing traffic can be very challenging. Clearly, the previous mayor of Appletown had no idea how to plan an efficient road network. They need a traffic hero to the rescue. That is us. So let's load this baby up. This tutorial should help you beat this scenario. All right, hello, hello, hello. Story message, traffic, the final frontier. The previous mayor of Appletown has quite frankly done a terrible job of, at planning the road network. Do you think you were up to the task of fixing it? Guess we better be. All right, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna check these goals every once in a while. And if you look right here, this tells you where you're at. We're opening up with 64% of 82% and about 31,000 population. So we got about 4,000 population to gain and about 20%, 18% to get there. I don't think we need to worry about this, but hey, you never know. You never ever know. So here we are. What do we have on our hands tonight? Well, we have kind of a glared road, so I'm going to straighten that up just slightly. I'm going to come in a little bit and we're going to assess what do we have to do to solve the problems to fix the traffic, that 82% traffic goal. We're sitting at about 60%. So let's reorient ourselves and go around the map and take a look at what we have. Well, the first thing we're going to look at is right away you see all your industrial areas. All right. And they are separated from the commercial areas they have to deliver to quite well. Um, so the access is limited. We've got some one-way roads inside this area and inside this area that we have to deal with, but it's essentially this area out here or this industrial area here, if he wants to get here, you got to go up here, get on the highway, get off the highway, and travel over to here. There's no direct access between uh, these industrial areas and any other areas. Um, this one and this one is pretty good, but that's this is all residential. They don't really need to go there. And then this is uh, some commercial that isn't really being utilized that much. We've got a little commercial over here. But they've got to travel all the way through here to get back to this commercial area. So that is a problem, problem, problem. Um, there, uh, we've got small roads here, all along here. I'm not going to worry about the number of intersections uh, and exit and on-ramps, but I am going to fix up these roads to make them adequate. Let's take a look real quick at our traffic flow and see what a disaster this city is and where our pain points are. You can see the pain point down here across this bridge. This is all a pain point um, going into the industrial area. Coming into this residential area is a pain point because I, it's feeding to this industrial area. And then coming down here, this weird football shaped um, thing is the worst possible design. I like the look of it, but it is really terrible design to move traffic because anybody trying to turn the opposite direction, turn left, you have to go right and then left, and you've got basically two lanes to do it in. Uh, and then getting back here, you can see it's all red all the way around there. Um, over here we have some issues. Well, the ingress to this 
particular industrial area. Uh, it comes in as a one way and trying to filter out, 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 out from the center, which is actually a strategy you can use in building industrial areas that can work pretty well. Um, but you've got, you have these two one ways that go into uh, here and basically you just have to kind of start over again and decide where you need to go. We've got some trash um, landfill stuff and incinerators over here and uh, but all of the traffic comes back to come up here to of course if they gotta go this direction they gotta take a left. I don't think they're doing that a lot. It doesn't look like it. But um, that we're gonna have to figure out. So oh and another thing um, that I notice is that some of these are made clockwise. They should be counterclockwise with right-hand drive, which we are, and this city is. Uh, and there's another one here, and you've got the same one-way thing. We're going to take care of the one-ways and get rid of some of those. Uh, we're probably going to tackle some traffic lights and get rid of them, too. So that is it to introduce you to this wonderful mess, and in a minute we're going to get into fixing it up and making it work. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, um, we need some services. We're lacking a little bit in services. Um, we're not too bad, but I think it's a really good idea whenever you start tackling something like this. Because it has that low population threshold, we really need to look at education and say, wait a minute, what's going on here? So right away we need to build at least two elementary schools and it looks like we need to build at least one high school all right so that uh, is one of the things we need to do um, the garbage processing um, we could use some of this now remember we only have fifty thousand dollars right now we got to get some more money um, the health care is in okay shape I think I noticed we could probably put in some better death care. Um, it's actually not too bad. And if we straighten out the traffic, we should be okay there. We already looked at the traffic flow, 64%. Um, the pollution's not out of hand. We do not have any public transportation. Um, we could focus a little bit on that, but I don't know. Um, We've got uh, about 50% uh, criminal capacity taken up. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, and outside connections, if we we import 11272, basically everything, and we export a little bit of forestry, and we export some goods. So I don't think we're going to get into any specialization or anything. That would probably be for uh, more advanced after we win the scenario. So um, that is about all that I have this particular time. So give me about five seconds and we'll be back and start tackling these problems. All right, it's always, uh, I'm always ch in challenges like ones like this. I'm always kind of wondering what should we look at first? And I think one of the first things I'm going to do is turn this guy into a square roundabout one way. All right, so we will do that and we'll make it grass lined upgrade i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing or we'll, we'll go ahead and do bike paths um right there and The other thing to look at is we do not want any traffic lights. Now, I, I just want to mention um, the mass transit 
was really good at updating um, the traffic and did a good job and put these lights in kind of based on some mods that were already out there. Now what I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of these traffic lights because they're really not necessary uh, in the game. And we got to solve we got to solve the traffic problems, so I want to do it without having a lot of traffic lights on um, the streets. There's so many intersections they put in um, unnecessarily, but the problem is you can't just one one approach you could use is just go in and eliminate all of the bad intersection and design. But if you do that, you're going to go below the 25,000, inevitably. All right. So anyway, we took care of that. And while we were at it, we got rid of the traffic lights. Um, this area up here, notice that all the traffic comes in. It goes this way, this way, or straight. Let's, let's do one thing real quick. Let's get this um, change direction there. I'm going to leave this one way in, but I am going to go ahead and um, get rid of the one way because there isn't enough traffic. Some I, One ways are good when there's a lot of traffic that you're dealing with. One ways are great, but there's just no way there's going to be that much traffic. So we have uh, gotten rid of those one ways there. We're leaving that one one way in with the traffic circle. And now the, the traffic doesn't have to turn left to in front of other traffic to get around that circle. Okay. The other thing over here is we need to improve these bridges and make them the the same size and yes I just messed up make them the same size all the way up and down and let me get this fixed and that is now fixed that is all she wrote there oh the other thing that I like to do is I just turn this into a highway. We were seeing a bit of redness there, um, and now you notice it's 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 all gone. And so this is going to be a highway all the way back, um, and it's the two-lane highway that we got in Mass Transit that I'm using, and I just I really like that. That is about it up here that we're going to do for traffic flow at this time. Well, don't worry, we're going to tackle this and this and, and whatnot. Let's get rid of this traffic circle is um, going the wrong direction also. So we're going to fix that. And this is a mess. It's an absolute mess. And the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get rid of the one ways down here. And we'll deal with this and this mess when we get to fixing that. All right, I don't particularly care for this, but I'm going to leave it alone. And that is about it there. Now we're going to take care of this big mess. And hopefully we can do that in pretty short order. All right, I think I talked a few minutes ago a little bit about this left-hand drive entrance getting over to the right-hand side here. 
uh, excuse me, not left-hand drive, um, this left-hand entrance to getting over to the right-hand exit. It doesn't work. And the same thing over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle this and get rid of it. Okay, so we're just getting rid of all of this mess that is. And I'm just going to start it all over again. Do something a little different. i got to watch my money because I don't have a ton. And... Um, Now we have all of that taken care of. And we don't want to run the simulation right now because traffic would have nowhere to go. Um, and oh, before I forget, I'm going to get rid of this. And oh, there's one mistake I forgot to fix. Um, and that is that guy right there. He was... Um, go in the wrong direction and when I kill this there'd be no way for people to get back here and back out. Alright, so now we have this neutered highway here and we've got to put in something new. So now we could just go straight connect this to here. Um, I'm gonna change it up. We're gonna do that but um, first we're going to do something else. That's about a 90 degree. And we're going to slide right there. And then we're going to move up. Now, what that does is offer a bypass for people to go to the right. It's kind of weird, but um, I'm going to give that a try. Now, the rest of the folks are going to have to just come into this intersection and I'm going to, it's still, it's kind of close and, all right. All right, that's as much of an angle. I, I prefer a better angle, but you're just not going to get it. All right, and these guys, I'm going to, how am I doing on money? Um, I am going to, I don't want to make this real close, but I am doing that. And what we're going to do is we are going to, We may need to expand these to be three lane. I don't know yet. Okay, now this traffic here all has to come up here to come over here. All right, we got rid of, we're going to get rid of some of the traffic and send it down its merry way here. Um, and but what I want to do is I want to make access to this area I want to make access to this area direct now you're probably wondering well wait a minute what about to this area. There's that connector. And now we've got very, oops, very little uh, money left. Um, 
you know what I'm going to do. Now, we're going to have to run the simulation. I don't like to run the simulation too soon or too much because I want to preserve um, the number of weeks that we're talking about. I also am afraid that with the bad traffic, we're going to start having some problems with population. So we're going to have to run it for just a bit here, and I'll put it on medium speed. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is provide direct access from these, this lane. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, not enough money. I'm wondering why can't I build this? So I've gone a little hog wild on 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 building, um, and for whatever reason, I'm not making much money. One thing I forgot to say that I like to do when I go into cities, and I'm going to be conservative here. I'm going to go ahead and just increase taxes to 10%. And this is just a slight boost. So when we run the simulation, we are getting a little bit extra tax revenue without going hog wild. If you go to 12, it's okay. 13, they'll start complaining. The 10 is not that much different than 9, and it seems to do fine with that. All right, so what I've done so far, just to recap, and we're going to see how this works, because let me go ahead and start running the simulation. We're going to have direct access. Now, remember, when these cars spawn, the reason they're not yet using this, you need the patients to allow the simulation to catch up and the new traffic to start using the new lanes. Now, if you do away with an exit, then it has no choice. But in a case like this, this backup is still present because of that. Those cars were already on that path, and they'll just stay on the same path. I'm also going to improve this to be a four lane, which will help slightly, um, even though most people want to get off here. All right, and notice our income, 16507 The next thing that I would like to do is um, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to provide access to the highway um, from this residential, this heavy residential. This is not a high priority. But um, I feel like it, it's just a little thing that helps. The next thing I'd like to do is offer a way out for these guys. So let me run, go ahead and keep running the simulation. We're not running behind or anything. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Gotta be cognizant of the power, and I am going to go ahead and spend the money to relocate. This is going to cost me fifteen hundred dollars. That guy there, and then I don't have to worry about him losing power and us going into a frenzy. Um, all right, so we're going to lose a couple buildings here. And what I'm going to do is provide an access road here to the highway. We might as well go both directions. And by the way, folks, I am not, I'm trying to win this scenario. I am not trying to make pretty, pretty, pretty. 
All right, and I will probably say all right a little bit too much. Um, and um. Now, I think I'm going to let that simulation run. And that is going to provide access to that area. Um, and we just made it to 32,000 population. And our traffic flow is 63%, so it's about the same as it was. And we get another area. I'm not going to worry about the other area at this time. Um, okay, so I think up here we have done as much as we can to try to get this um, fixed. And for what, and if you look, look at that. I mean, that is tremendously better. Um, the simulation slowed down. So that is the first part of trying to fix some of the traffic over here, and we need to let some time go by to see if that helps. This was really to help this direction mostly. This has not been solved yet, and we're going to do that in our next little section after a short intermission. We have taken care of this for right now. We've got pretty good flow down here. Um, notice our red coming this way, the orange is kind of loosening up. Um, we've still got a big problem coming over here and we've got a problem over here. Things are still in flux right now and um, we've got to do some more digging. Something I forgot to do was when I was in here earlier, I forgot to um, come in and go to the traffic lights on the south side of the city. Now, I think of south as the orientation that I normally use in the game. and In this particular case, um, I'm considering this the south side of town. Alright, we're going to turn these guys off. And probably all of these guys too. It would be neat if they had a button that you could say, toggle all lights off. Now we're going to tackle the football here. Just really not great. And let's, what's going on? Low land value. Um, that... I'm not sure why we're getting low land value, except maybe, you know, we get a little bit of money. I'm going to go ahead and build another, I don't want to be tearing stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead and build another incineration plant. Uh, I don't know if it will go there. Okay. And... While I am at it, I'm going to add the road down here that connects this area with that area. Now we're going to take a shot at the football here. And now let's just get rid of uh, this whole road and everything here and take 
this apart. What I'm going to do is put in a overpass here. And I don't, I definitely don't want to be destroying very many um, homes here, but I have to sacrifice somewhere. Now we've got a fire going on. Um, sorry, that's a bit frustrating can't build until that fire goes out so we'll have to run the simulation some we'll do a little bypass and see what we can do to temporarily get around that fire till it's knocked out and we're going to go over here and we're going to do an exit there and we are going to make a one-way there and all right sped things up a little bit here just uh, clearing the road try to make a thoroughfare uh, didn't quite work the way I wanted to a little bit too close together to put in a four lane or a six lane a temporary road right there and then when this fire goes out, let's run this for a minute or two. Um, when the fire goes out, we'll fix it. Now, that's quite some timing. All right, right now, um, these guys can't really go to the north or this direction. So we're going we're gonna to fix that. Now we can take this guy and let's make it a three. Now I don't like this because not my favorite thing that I've done here, but didn't get rid of these guys and now let's let the simulation run um, we do have quite a bit of trial look at this a lot of traffic coming through and let me check one thing over here I'm going to take that traffic light off there we go just another shortcut into this area should help a bit now all of a sudden We've lost, it's funny how you don't notice these things, but we've lost about 27,000, excuse me, we've lost about 5,000, we were at 32,000. All of a sudden we just have this huge drop in population. As long as it doesn't continue to go down, we're okay because we could lose it with the 25,000. So going to build a overpass from the westbound side to more directly access the industrial area here. That is now going to save a little bit on the congestion over here. Look at that. We have a story message. It looks like you're doing well with optimizing the traffic. You might 
be just the hero that Appletown needs. Keep improving and we'll soon have the greatest road network of the region. Here, have some money to build nice intersections. And I get $300,000. Okay, some money, 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 money. One of the things that are apparent or is apparent to me, uh, let's take a look real quick at where we have our redness going on. And we've got, wow, we still have a lot of redness going on here. And that I'm going to try to address here in a minute. We've got a lot of redness over here. Um, this is pretty dysfunctional, and they've already got low land value going on. So I think what uh, we need to do is get rid of one of the parks here. I decided to speed this section up a little bit when I built some connectors on the south side of the city. Um, try to get a little bit better traffic flow going here. I forgot we got that $300,000 too. I was worried about money. What we're going to use this later for, see we have this residential demand going on. What I want to do is just build in um, some extra dimension to get us I don't think as things are built presently that there's enough residential to get us up to 35,000 it it seems that there is not so this park Unfortunately, it has to move, and we tore down some some stuff. And that still connects up the road. So now what we've done here is provide direct access back to here. And that will probably free some things up. I don't know if this circle, this little roundabout, it's so small. I don't know how functional it is. So we may have to get rid of it. But that'll stop this redness around the side. Um, it's green now, obviously. But let's run the simulation for a little bit and see what happens. Okay. Um, Another thing that I'm going to do is just connect those two. And believe it or not, I'm going to connect this up with that and this with that. If we start getting a lot of truck traffic through here, we might have to build a zone and say, no, you can't do it. So the other um, thing that I'll do over here is zone some residential to fill that in for when it starts growing again. I think we're okay. 27343. I think we're okay. I think we have the basics down. Uh, wow, 79%. Just what we've done. We we're up to 79%. And we've still got quite a bit of red showing. So I guess our 80%. I guess our flow is actually pretty good even though we've got a lot of red. That just uh, red isn't always bad. Um, you know, I'd rather have green, but I think what I'm going to do is actually get rid of that, and I'm going to change this guy. Into a one way. And so we don't have interrupts I'm gonna move him here and I'm going to build over here 
Uh, I'm going to stop the simulation for a little bit. I'm going to build an out here. And then that is going to connect there. And I think I'm going to cut that guy off. And I'm actually going to put a one way, I'm going to make this one way again. All right, I think I'm going to fix this one way highway thing going through here. I didn't do it right in the first place. So I'm going to switch this over to being a six lane road. And instead of doing it at regular speed, speed it up just a bit. Uh, it doesn't really advance the play a whole lot, but I think it helps with the traffic just ever so slightly. And notice what we have here is we have a really nice road with no, not a lot of intersections. That's what you want on a main road like this. Let's look at junctions and let's turn off. You definitely don't need traffic lights back here. And we're going to have to keep an eye on the traffic light situation. Um, a lot of traffic still coming up over here. That's kind of a hard angle. But, and then these guys are really still backed up. And I'm going to do something that probably is overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and allow them to get to the commercial area there. And then I'm going to take care of a little bit of this demand here and here. Well, hold on. I'm going to make, um, I think we're going to need, like I said earlier, I think we will definitely need um, more industrial as well as commercial, uh, excuse me, residential. Definitely going to need some residential. Now, I don't know if we're going to go all the way up here, but right now I just built that. Things are flowing really well. Let's take a look where we're at with the simulation. How many... All right, we have about... We've used about 10% of the weeks. We've got just over 28,000 population, which I'm happy that that's going back up. And we are our traffic flow. We've already solved that problem in a mere 20 weeks. Now we played a while, um, so I chose to do it more of. Let's try to make as many changes up front. I don't think we really need to pay attention to traffic as much now. I don't like this. This is still awfully red, but. Oh, and you know, I didn't get rid of, I didn't even notice this, but this is really dumb that they have to turn around, turn across traffic here to, to do their business. So making that one way that way. And the other thing that I want to do and I forgot to do is connect that up with that and um, bring that out just slightly. No. All right, that's good enough. So now what we need to do is put in a couple more parks. We're pretty good on parks, but I don't want to tear down any residential that I can avoid. So this guy up here 
would be a good candidate for getting an extra park in. And we've got a cemetery there, so I don't think we need that. But let's get a, a little spa. That will enhance that area. Um, tennis courts are always a good thing. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do kind of a complex down here of playground, park, and tennis court. And you know what? Wait, uh, there is also a basketball court. I don't know if this is one I downloaded from. This one might be a, um, an asset that I got, and I apologize. I'm trying not to use mods in in doing my you know a scenario like this, but it's a park, uh, so not a big deal. Uh, okay, something that I forgot to do. All right. Maybe this would have helped eliminate the downgrade of or so much of the uh, population loss. Connect these guys and we need another elementary. Now, if this was interactive or live, I would ask everybody, what do you think? Should we do mass transit? Um, I am going to extend this because I do not want to tear anything down. I'm going to go off on a side uh, note, we got to deal with garbage, but this little public library I just downloaded the other day, uh, I don't remember who does it, but it was being featured on the main Steam page, uh, the workshop page, but I love it, and it, it looks nice at night, it's, it's just a beautiful little asset. Alright, now we have... 6,000 capacity there. Elementary, we've got 2,400. Um, I think the elementary situation, I'm going to go ahead and go with right. Well, no, that'll tear that down. We'll just go ahead and put an elementary there. Now we have the right capacity. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do another elementary while we're at it. Then we're going to have plenty of capacity there. Okay, we're we're gaining we're gaining here. Um, let's place a couple more little assets, but I don't want to be tearing anything down, so. And I think they actually, and a few basketball courts alongside, I'm not sure that tennis players want to hear basketball players grunting, but, and then I want to be sure to, Now that's low density. Um, I think it's important to get some high density in here too. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do to right there with high density. See, and that was part of the purpose of the check water. They did a pretty good job of the water here. And, oh, made that one crooked, sorry. All right, I hate when I do that. But 
this is just a simulation. This is just a simulation. Well, the whole game is a simulation. We're going to take just a short break here. Uh, and I think we might save... Uh, actually, what we're going to do... Our population is approaching 30,000. I think we're at a good stopping point to um, end this video and go on to episode 2. And hopefully all we need to do is get up to the 30,000. Let's just see where we're at real quick. Um, yep, yeah, we're keeping maintaining the 82% traffic flow. I've got some more ideas about a little bit of tweaks I'm going to do in traffic. We played 32 weeks and we've got about 30,000 in population. We're going up nicely there, we're doing a little beautification. But we'll leave it there and come back and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.